We begin with a Westbury woman on a mission to save an 80 year old oak tree. She's taking some pretty extreme measures to accomplish that. Currently, she's chained to the tree to keep the village from cutting it down. News 12's Andrew Enger is in Westbury, and uh, Andrew sounds like something out of a TV or a movie, uh, TV show or movie. I tell you something, Doug, the honks here have been going on all day long. A lot of support from motorists here for a Westbury mom along Ellison Avenue determined to save this 80 year old oak tree. So determined that yesterday when village workers started to take this tree down, she blocked it with her car and then this morning she chained herself to the tree. We grew up with this tree. Everybody grew up with this tree. Denise Casera says this 80 year old oak tree along Ellison Avenue in Westbury is like family. And she says you do everything you can to protect family, including chaining yourself to the tree to keep it from being cut down. There used to be trees all the way down Ellison Avenue. It was beautiful, almost like going down Garden City where you see those big, beautiful, majestic trees and they're just killing them and I don't understand why. The village of Westbury says it's repaving parts of Ellison Avenue and engineers looked at the tree in front of Caceres' house. They say it and some others nearby needed to be cut down because the roots were protruding a few inches over the curb. There are a couple that because of the way they're either encroaching onto the roadway or um, impacting the sidewalks are going to have to come down. But Denise said she was told by the village the tree could be saved. But then she said the village reversed its decision and said it must go. That's when she chained herself to the tree to hopefully save it for her kids. I just want a straight answer. I want my tree to stay. And while some neighbors say they have no problem seeing the tree go, others aren't so sure. It's a healthy tree. It gives you shade. What else can you ask from a tree, you know? Westbury Mayor Peter Cavallero says he would like to keep the tree and will have engineers re-examine it a second time. Sometimes you can get away by just cutting some of the roots at the curb line. If you do too much of that, you may compromise the tree, and that would not be a good thing from a safety standpoint. Now, Denise says she'll wait for that engineer's report and hope something can be done to save this tree. But until she gets some answers, she'll be out here, chained to the tree during daylight hours to make sure it stays safe. We're in Westbury, Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island. Doug.